This is a poem, one of my favorites from 2008 that I wrote. This is called Living the Green Life. Dependent on other countries, this is how we end up over energy wars. Like the eco-documentary on the Sundance Channel's The Green series. We have not moved up, but yet to see our delinquencies. And how we corroborate basic unconstitutional factors of our land and oceans. We can only figure out what is best in our nature. To be more independent than to invade on someone else's land of culture. We can figure out and become of our better understanding to use proper resources. To gain a better understanding of advancing technologies. What we see here in the United States of America is that we can take proper procedures by being more reluctant in parts of horticultures. Since there is a greater number and detail of all considered biofuels, if we can take a look at the grains of our land, we can see what we have instead of oil from foreign ground. Consider the fact that we have mountains that we destroyed for coal when we should be smarter to save this nation as a breadbasket and to keep the way God made it out. We pray for the better need of soil and the grains like hemp that we can coil and better need to think of energy efficiency like ethanol, soy biodiesel, or regular biodiesel for automation so our future generations can ring up to a better toll. Even the likelihood of organic ethanol, chocolate waste that they conducted as fuel in Belgium, or solar power panels. Observation is key, as we see, even the UK that has cars running on electricity. Buses, transports, and taxi services on hydrogen fuel cells, my favorite. The nation's problem is what we can't escape due to dependency and cannot study the globe carefully. We're websites that report fluently. EarthDayTV.net that sees clearly and the greener ethic that is of great knowledge. It is beneficial on many great sciences that pushes us in a better direction to determine and judge. Not only involvement on EarthDay.net, but LiveEarth.Absolute.com can show deliberately in the fabric of our shroud or behind the dark veil that covers our world. And oil and gas prices rising like the devil out of a cloud. Could we still stand against Exxon and Mobil? for the wrong of contributing to fund toward oil companies that is ruining and ripping our citizenship of tax money as a birthright to stand up and fight. We have manufactured concepts under the Department of Energy that has links to alternatives already. Hydrogen fuel as their main incentive that they have been on the verge of day by day from certain types of companies that have been pushing for legislation for citizens in less pay, from certain types of companies that have been pushing, I'm sorry, since energy.gov has got your back today, like climatecrisis.com that Al Gore published two years ago in May. That's 2008, two years ago. From there. Such sole companionship of that site included it is like looking at links in research on SundanceChannel.com forward slash the green for more information that has you covered on all of Robert Redford's shows that he directs. Where one site depicts it's not easy being green.org with that in mind. Remember your place in conserving the environment as a good reprimand. Like checking on e85fuel.com for an alternative incentive in your area. 
Biodiesel.com for a greener trans communication in your city or town for the greater good. Soybiodiesel.com for the healthier and cleaner look on the inside of your car if it is not a flex fuel. Hempcar.org for information on how to run your vehicle of that CD spectacle. Or HydrogenNow.org alongside with HydrogenPowerInc.com that will keep you posted. Earth science on how it is viewed and educated in so many countries has set so many extreme and greater consequences as well as jobs that look for those with great efforts in supporting the ecosystem like celebrities Daryl Hannah, Robert Redford, Ed Bigley Jr., Morgan Freeman, Woody Harrelson, Robert Kennedy Jr., Laird Hamilton, Gabby Reese, Josh Lucas, Laura Dern, Amber Valletta, Moby, and Ted Danson. If those celebrities got your attention, look at the big picture of Greenpeace and what they're doing. What the EPA is contracting and what documents NOAA has in educating as well as assisting. On either side of EPA.gov, Greenpeace.org, or NOAA.gov. Hydrogen.energy.gov is based solely within the Department of Energy. Its links, hydrogenassociation.org and hydrogenconference.org, are that to be necessary. The US FCC has their connections along with them that are in production of the main frame. Since, after all, they are not to blame. The news to check out what is going behind the scenes from time to time is fuelcellstoday.com. The only buzz you can pick up on the technology for use in the automotive world is h2fc.com or h2andu.org that you can gain more information from. Since there is too many to name, for name's sake, you can choose in which you can seek. Grist.org for newsletters a week or freecycle.org newsletters in your emails that you can pick. When you, can, when you contribute by living up the standards of all that there is to come by, can't you see Europe's carbon dioxide emissions go so low so quickly? Ecotricity.co.uk is as close as you can be. If you lived in the confines of Ireland or Europe, you can also check out greenglass.co.uk maybe. Contributions are at large. Since no one can do it better than celebrities in California, where last year in November 2007, Morgan Freeman talked about his site going across America. In February of the year 2008, he got planitnow.org to such an extent that is up and poaching each and every event posting each and every event, where the halogroup.net has pushed efforts in building the site, as well as climatecounts.org on the side. We can compare these to other learning materials online, where a list of sites on paper are great reference lines. Since there are variable accounts everywhere you go, you might as well see buildinggreen.com and cleancities.com since they sponsor all eco events. Since fossilfools08.com is coming the 1st of April to make a stand and for your ecological rights. Here is who's backing that event up for it to take its place. Energyactioncoalition.com, greene.org, and risingtidenorthamerica.org that will make all to see in grace. Where there are links to other sites that others should come face to face. Such as terrapass.com, powershift07.org, earthjustice.org, and earthtrends.wri.org. So if you think you can do better without call and choosing a different source of energy, let's see if you can get sciencedaily.com newsletters in your email every day and see if you can teach me what you have learned, as well as studentperks.org, 
sierraclub.org, and calperg.org newsletters as well. So, what about war? What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Can we relate to this song? We can by doing we can by doing better and step away from it. Since we know that was never our involvement. Count yourselves out and fuel your future by having it all planned out. Pointing fingers in the right direction since there is so much reflection. Like pointing out this site, stopglobalwarming.org and fightglobalwarming.com for almost everyone to sign the petition. Get your bulletin from aashe.org and see where I have been getting so much information from so successfully, like biofueloasis.com, where there is more reasonable accounts to learn from, even to apply to our world so steadily. Even greenlineindustries.com has shown in great performance lately. Since it is not hard to contemplate, especially like an environmental journalist like me, or my favorite, Simran Sethi, which I'm a big fan of, as well as the construction of her site, SimronSafety.com, coming soon, which is already out now, since I'll be on my way to starting. Joining SEJ.org to meet members like her at random. By solving a situation like on the site, we can solve it.org for all to see. Even joining a fraternity, where a Capitol Hill in North Carolina has Epsilon Eta.org so distinctly since they are recent like last year that turned out to be so eminently. That is only if the college has environmental majors, they would have been here already. There is the clear picture that even climatechange.org is estimated as pure fact. Ecologycenter.org can tell you where to go with that. And find a buddy at ecofriend.org that can sit down with you on a project. It can be from nwf.org, in which the wildlife has much to compensate. It is clearly doubted of what clear and simple reports are made, coming from the University of Central Florida that bears straight ahead. In any winter blizzard or storm, they like their references to the hia.org and task39.org to show what areas have been accomplished. Even for what I have researched, for a scientific study on a screenplay that I plan to write. So I delve deeper and try to see peoplesfuel.org in which detects a plan for a cleaner future. Also other sites, bbibiofuels.com to correlate, global biomassnetwork.com to hear others speak on this subject, and realclimate.org to face the physical nature that is harmed in this world, such as Mother Earth that has been harmed by the greenhouse effect and once ripped the ozone layer apart. Since that left a large hole and we became a little more conscious of the environment, it is in the process to heal, thanks to no more CFCs that cease to be leaves us thinking we have done better by changing our ways. Even today with our vehicles, such as SULEF, Super Ultra Low Emissions Vehicles, and wind turbines, as well as water turbines to power homes like solar panels. Although we see how we improve, where religions are destined to only provide us with mysteries, not easy to help us solve life's matters. Here we are in the physical world, doing what is right in brave steps. Don't you agree with this? In which we are made out to be, not harming the land, but to be eco-friendly. Since the whole entire population in the world is living the green life for all eternity, 